hello wonderful viewers god bless you my name is prophet austin moses i am the pastor of manasseh christian center and by the grace of god i'm also the founder of prophet austin moses ministries voice of prophecy and uh, i am based in london united kingdom and from here i launches into the world with the gospel of our lord and savior jesus christ by the special grace of god i was called into the office of the prophet over two decades ago and i thank god for all the awesome testimonies that has been following the prophetic anointing of God upon my life, or that have been emanating from um, the prophetic anointing of God upon my life. We've recorded many awesome testimonies, and I say to God be the glory, because no man can take God's glory. Today again, I'm here to release a prophecy that the Lord gave me since September 2015. I know you might want to ask this question. If God gave you this prophecy since September 2015, why are you not coming out in February 2016 to give the prophecy? Listen to this. There are times that God will give a word that you, even though you know that the word is from God, Sometimes you want reconfirmation. And this is exactly what has delayed me from coming out to release the prophecy. And I thank God that God has reconfirmed and reconfirmed and reconfirmed his word again. And has given me the release to go out there and give the prophecy to the world. But before I give the prophecy... I would like you to sit back and watch this video clip of the prophecy that the Lord gave me for the then president of Nigeria, President Goodluck Ebele Jolotan. The prophecy was released in September 2013. Um, he didn't listen to what the Lord said through the prophecy. And he did what he was not supposed to do. And what he least expected did happen. So once again, sit back, relax, be comfortable, and enjoy this video clip from the prophecy that the Lord gave me for the then president of Nigeria, President Goodluck Ebil Jonathan, in September 2013. And I will be right back with this very current prophecy. We thank God. Amen. I want to delve a bit more into your prophetic okay. ministry and speak upon a recent prophecy that you've had concerning the nation of Nigeria. Yes. And yes. How long ago was this um, prophecy revealed to you and, and what and what did you actually see in that vision? President Good Luck Ebele Jolatada of Nigeria. At this point, God has not rejected you. But he said, I should tell you, you are not to go for third term. Or the second, second term. You are not to go for second term. If you are going, 
You are going on your own. God put you there for this term. So it will be better for you to use the remaining years that you have to spend there to do something tangible for the country. To do something that the less privileged in Nigeria will say, yes, this man rule us. And this is what we have to show as evidence that we benefited from his rule. Do not allow anyone Listen, now I'm going back to the prophecy for 2011 for you. Do not allow anyone or group of people to put pressure on you, more pressure on you, that will make you to do anything that will bring unrest in that country. That prophecy was from 2011. I am going back to it now for you. So if you force yourself on the people after 2000 and, or in 2015, you are going there on your own. It means you are forcing yourself on the people of God, even though God has not sent you to go. Wow, wow, wow. I hope you have been blessed by that uh, prophecy. You see, the prophecy of God are never outdated. They are always fresh and current. I always tell people, whenever God speaks, it might not look like it. It might not seem like it. The situation around us at that particular time might cause us to doubt it. But the truth of the matter is this. If it's from God, at the end, it will surely become it. So I don't know if you have received any prophecy in the past that you are still waiting for the manifestation. I pray for you today. Those prophecies will begin to manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, over to the current prophecy that the Lord gave me for President Muhammadu Buhari, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This prophecy was given to me in September 2015. And now it's time for me to release the prophecy. Your Excellency, President Muhammadu Buhari of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Lord said to tell you, you don't have much time on your side. Once again, the Lord said I should tell you, sir, your excellency, that you don't have much time on your side. So every plans that you have in mind, every agenda that you have in mind every manifesto that you have in mind to put in place for Nigeria do not delay begin to do them right now because you don't have much time on your side and the Lord also said whoever that will succeed you as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should build or continue to build on those foundation that you are going to lay. In September 2013, when I released the prophecy for the then president of Nigeria, 
I remember the Lord said that the Moses of Nigeria, the David of Nigeria, is not among all those old people parading themselves wanting to become the president of Nigeria. The Lord said to tell you, sir, you are there to make the way, to pave the way for the Messiah that God will want to send to Nigeria to complete his assignment for Nigeria. And I pray that the Lord will give you the grace to be able to do what the Lord have laid in your heart to do. And I pray once again that the Lord will continue to give you the grace, the enablement, the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to do what the Lord have put you there to do for this season. While you are doing that, we will continue to pray for the Lord to showcase, for the Lord to fish out, for the Lord to discover, for the Lord to single out that Messiah that he has prepared, or is preparing, he shall prepare to take the nation Nigeria to the promised land. God bless every one of you as you listen. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless everyone who is praying for the manifestation of the plan of Nigeria. Till I come your way next time again. Once again, my name is Prophet Austin Moses. And remember, until God says it's over, it is not over yet. So do not lose hope. Do not lose hope because God is on your side. God bless you and see you next time again.